Hey, Belton High School. This is the student MacBook orientation for the 2015-16 school year. I'm Mr. Moser and go through a few items with you today. First, you're going to be getting your MacBook 11 inch again, 128 gigs, um, the same stuff that you got last year. User fee is still $70 and that fee can be paid online or paid with cash or check. You should have already done that uh, before this tutorial. What you're seeing now is a list of the parts and what they cost. Um, I want to particularly bring your attention to the charger. It's 79 bucks, so make sure you're keeping track of that and not letting it get lost, stolen. Um, if you don't return in an item, then you have to pay for that item. So make sure you uh, keep track of all those items. As far as uh, an, uh, a MacBook that becomes broken, the deductible for the first incident is only $25, and then the, incident, the deductible increases for each incident incidents after that. For those that are lost, you're going to pay the full price um, of $1,032. And then finally, a lost, uh, excuse me, a stolen MacBook. You need to report it to the police. You can do the you can meet with the SRO on campus and let the administration know. You also will be assessed a $150 deductible. You will be signing the student acceptable use policy, which which says that you uh, agree to appropriately use your device. And I have a couple of my buddies here that are going to share some of those uh, and, and highlight some of those acceptable uses. Don't swap and share your device because it's your device. It's, it's uh, share your device. This is yours. It's assigned to you as an individual, so keep it to yourself. Get up off my password. Don't share your passwords. The pictures you take on the computer, the district can see, so be appropriate. It's always important to secure your device all the time. Keep it safe. <laughs> Make sure that you keep your MacBook in a public place where your adults can supervise it. Man, I wish I would have come to school with my MacBook charged. For reals, bring it fully charged. Hacking your device is not acceptable at all, and you should down downloading any content of any sort is illegal, so you shouldn't. Well, the Wi Fi password our school is. Do you really think I'm going to let you have the Wi-Fi password? Well, you really shouldn't even know the Wi-Fi password. Make sure you back up all your data to Google Drive because it's very important and it's your responsibility to do. If your device is lost or stolen, you should report it to your local police and the Belton School District. Oh no. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, if your technology is dropped or is not properly working, please take it to the Belt Media Center. These are students, I'm uh, talking in regards to MacBooks. You should treat them with care. Make sure they're in their sleeves when you like transport them to your car in the house so they don't get, uh, drop and get messed up. Make sure they're not in cold temperatures, warm, you know, they could always overheat and bad things could happen to it. You take it out, make sure you open it, put it on a flat surface so like don't put it on your legs where it will fall over or anything. Make sure when you shut it, you don't have a pin or anything in it because it could bust the screen so make sure you take care of it. If you see somebody not taking care of their MacBook, make sure you report it to a teacher to where nobody's gets messed up and no damage can be done to the MacBooks. Thanks guys for explaining the acceptable use policy. Now we'll look at logging in. Your logon is your first name, period, last name, just like in the computer lab. All right, for to turn off your Mac on and off, you just simply just close it and then reopen it. And it should power back on. But if it doesn't, you can, if you have any troubles with that, you can just go up to the Apple screen and just go down to restart and then restart the Mac. And then, if you need any additional things, like if you want to download Google Chrome, you would just go to Launchpad, and then you just slide over two fingers on the touchpad, if it's over here on this screen, and then slide over right, and then you go to self-service, and then once you're at self-service, you just go to, and you go to software, and then you hit install on Chrome, exit, and then go back to Launchpad, and then Chrome should be right here. 
You can also click on your Chrome icon and slide it over to your dock, so that way it's always on your dock. And then once there, you can use anything on the web, the search, or whatever you need right here. So this year, students, you guys will have a new email address. That email address will be your first name, period, last name, at students.bsd124.org. Also this year, you'll be auto-enrolled into the Belton Canvas. That website can be found on the school webpage at bsd124.instructure.com, and you'll use your school email and the password to log in. I want to say one final comment about digital footprints. The things you post online, those things are there forever. So make sure you're using it appropriately and effectively. All right, Pirates. So seize the day and take advantage of this powerful resource that we're providing you. Use your technology wisely. It's an incredible learning tool. Have an awesome year with your MacBook Air. Yeah.